Hello, humans. The wind-swept fjords of Polar Night. Bring us to game four of this After Hours Gaming League match. It's Blackberry versus Google. Oh my god, I think they're the right colors. Down in the... No, they're not. Down in the bottom corner, representing Team Blackberry. The Gold Leaguer, Mob! Versus the former Master Leaguer. An another inaugural player from the inaugural season of the AHGL. From Team Google, it's Turing. And if you code, you get it. Ah, oh, Turing. Ah. Oh. Do you know what a Turing machine is? You do? You do? Well, I would want you to tell me. And Mob is sending t two probes out. Uh, uh, here's, this is a pair of probes. Not one, nor zero, but two. The least common. One of them is queued up. Where is this one going? He's gonna go here. And this one is going to the same place, to here. Oh my god. Oh my god, is he gonna double gas steal? Oh my god. Oh my god, is he gonna double gas steal? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. Turing is just going to get a forge. I mean, is he just going to expand? I mean, I mean, here's a gateway from Mob, I guess. I mean, he's going to try to protect himself against potential funkal additions. Um, I mean, <laughs> This is the AHGL! I've really got absolutely no gas. Oh god, he's supply blocked. Is he, He's gonna build a cannon to shoot down the geysers. Oh my god, what has the world come to? Uh, oh no, oh god, Turing, oh no. Oh my god, there is so gas being taken by mob. Oh my god, mob, 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 mob. That is, this is... And getting a cybernetic score. I don't know how much I like this at the front because if the enemy gets any amount of stalkers up at the front, these buildings will die. But I guess it's okay when your opponent has absolutely no gas. And uh, a cannon and a zealot is in the main base of Turing, killing uh, mobs assimilator. That's a sentence I just said. It's an expansion coming down for Turing. Let's see how it pans out. I really hope we have something really cruel going down, like a proxy double Stargate. Void rays swing on in and target fire the cybernetics core to prevent any air units from getting built. You just don't know what you'll see these days. Good placement from that cannon to be able to shoot down both geysers, I guess, is what I just said. Mob is now chrono boosting out warp gates. I love it. And that is a, that is a nexus from Turin. He's gonna have to rush straight for warp gate research. Like first 50 gas straight into warp gate, chrono boost his little buns off. I feel like this should backfire for our blue player mob, but he seems to know exactly what he's doing. I'm gonna take both of your gases and then I'm gonna four gate. Ah, spoken like a true pro. He might just three gate, he might just apply pressure. There's the Mothership core making her way out, cross map. Not a tremendous vision range anymore. Where's the vision range again? Does it not show it any anywhere? I actually don't know where. I just happen to know the vision range numbers. I like to be able to mouse over things to note what I'm talking about, but the vision range is down from 14 to 9, so... The Mama Ship core is going to go in there, but... Oh, the cannon apparently not well placed enough. Oh my god, the Mama Ship Core mob your cheese. Oh, the cheese will keep spinning. Oh my god. Oh, he's shooting down the probes on the geyser. Well, I mean, good placement from Turing. He's holding down the front. I mean... Building gateways as best he can. He, he better hold off on the probe production, though. He's got to withstand... The four gates. He's got to withstand the four gates. His 
Uh oh. Some stalkers morphing in. Oh my. Oh my. Is this actually gonna happen? I mean, the two cannons, this placement from Turing is super duper good. Oh, there are four gates down for Mob. Oh my god, he's targeting a can, he's targeting a can, he loses a stalker! Oh my god. Turing is doing a stupendous job defending this, but Turing didn't put units back in gas. <gasps> he's not gonna, he's not gonna, he won't have enough gas for stalkers. Get in the gas, Turing! No, Mob! Oh my god. First he got his gas stolen, and then he forgot about his gas. Oh my god, he's gonna waltz on into the main base. No way, Mob! Mob. Oh my mob. Oh my god. Warp Gabe's finishing up for Turing. He still doesn't realize he doesn't have units in the gas. The Mothership Core! Oh my god, the Mothership Core falls. A devastating blow to the economy. Oh my god, Turing's targeting pylons. This is not an Artosis pylon, but with one pylon down, only an Artosis style one remains. Mob is getting mobbed by probes. Turing. Oh my gosh. More stalkers getting morphed in. They're gonna run the gauntlet into the main base. This is gorgeous. This is amazing. And just... Just as... <gasps> he's gonna kill the cybernetics core. He's actually gonna target it down. There's gonna be no more stalkers. It can be built. All cannons. All cannons all the time. Turing trying to get, take gas at his expansion. Oh my god, Turing. Turing, I didn't know. I didn't know this was gonna happen. A pylon in the main base going down. He's just gonna target down the Nexus. Mob. Mob gets it. Mob's thinking so clearly, so crisply, so cleanly in a spot like this. Except for this forge. I can't explain that forge in the slightest. But up in the main base, we see Mob charging his way. He's going to rip down the infrastructure. He's going to try to pick off pylons. He's going to try to pick off gateways. Turing. He's building another gateway. He has to restart his whole damn cybernetics core. But it looks like the moment of truth, or perhaps the moment of death, as Mob advances forward. He's advancing to the cannons. I can't believe it. What a win. <laughs> and time warped himself. Mob from the Gold League having a little bit of fun. Showing the Gold League tactics to Turing. From Team Google, Blackberry has just provided a notification. GG. A clean win. An unbelievably beautiful game, except for this forge. I still have no idea what that's doing there, but look at this. Double gas steal in the main, into four gate, into run into the main. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, that was great. That does now mean that Team Blackberry has successfully won themselves. The match to bring them to 4-2 and two in the AHGL. It might be their first season, but it certainly will not be their last. They're going to be hanging on in there. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of the After Hours Gaming League. Per usual. Per usual. HGL will be at 7 p.m. Pacific every single Sunday till the end of time. Hope to see you next week. Hope you continue to visit AfterHoursGaming.tv to root for your favorite teams because the winner gets $5,000 of my money to the charity of their choosing. Cheers!